I'm Ramona Wing. Thank you so very much for joining me for this week's program of Connect. This week's program, like last week's program, is very near and dear to my heart. I'm joined by two sisters from Metanoia, two sisters that God brought into my life, again from that women's retreat. Today, you will connect with Tammy Calloway and Teresa Weatherspoon. They're going to share with you some of their own personal reflections from Metanoia. Metanoia is held every October near Newton, Iowa. It's for women and it's all about allowing God to do a change of heart. It's also about women coming together and joining hands and joining hearts to fall more passionately in love with Jesus. Stay with me. Connect is just moments away. Thank you so very much for joining me for this week's program of Connect. I'm Ramona Wink, and if you are new to watching Connect, let me tell you what it's all about. Connect is all about real people sharing real stories about our real God doing really miraculous things. This week's program of Connect is very near and dear to my heart, as was last week's, because I'm joined by two very special sisters in Christ to me that I was blessed to meet at Metanoia. Tammy, and Teresa, they're sisters, and so again, I introduce them uh, to you today. Teresa Weatherspoon and Tammy Calloway. Teresa, welcome to Connect. Thank you. And Tammy, welcome to Thank Connect. Thank you. We're so glad that you're here. I want to start, as I do every program of Connect, with a, with a prayer. Would you join me now? Heavenly Father, we come to you through your Son, Jesus, and we are just here to connect with your Son and to connect with one another and to connect with people at home. Heavenly Father, this program is glorifying of you, and that's our main mission. It's also to give people information, beautiful information, that they need to know and receive about metanoia. Metanoia is a wonderful opportunity for Christian women to come together and, Heavenly Father, grow in their relationship with you. So be with us today as we do this program. Again, we want you to be honored and glorified in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I always start with scripture, and again, um, being rooted in the Bible is something that's very near and dear and passionate to my heart, and so I asked Teresa and Tammy for passages that are meaningful to them, and it doesn't surprise me that Teresa picked Psalm 139. I witnessed God use this passage in a very meaningful way in her life this year at Metanoia. Psalm 139, O Lord, you have examined my heart, and you know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my every thought when far away. You chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment you know where I am. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You both precede and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to know. I'm going to skip down to verse 13, Teresa. You made, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body, and you knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, and how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. The last two verses of Psalm 139 say, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Teresa, I pray that is so meaningful to you today just like it was at Metanoia. It is. And Tammy picked um, 
the whole armor of God, and this is so fitting for her, so fitting for her, and I have a personal story that I will share about that. For Tammy, use every piece of God's armor to resist the enemy in the time of evil so that after the battle, after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Tammy, I would add on holy ground. Standing firm on holy ground. Yes. Stand your ground, putting on the sturdy belt of truth putting on the sturdy belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteous ar righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace. Put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. And in every battle, you will need faith. You will need faith as your shield to stop the fiery arrows aimed at you by Satan. Yes. Yep. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray at all times and on every occasion in the power of the Holy Spirit, and stay alert, stay alert, and be persistent in your prayers for all Christians everywhere. I can tell you that at the end of Metanoia, we were getting ready to go home. All of us go in our separate ways, and we were in a beautiful circle of faith, and I can remember Tammy came up beside me and asked all of the women to pray for me. Yes. Because she knows that um, serving God uh, full-time in ministry, uh, the devil comes against us um, a lot. And, and she knew that the devil would be trying to throw darts against me and against um, our ministry. And Tammy just beautifully was very discerning about that and said, we leave here and go home to our lives and Ramona goes on to continue to minister and so that sweet one really um, so spoke to my heart that you knew that we needed the full armor of God the full armor yes. of God and yes. you've had personal experience in that before we get into that um, Teresa let's start with you give our viewers just a little bit of information about Teresa, Teresa Weatherspoon um, who you are your family and and anything else that you'd like to share I'm Teresa Weatherspoon, and this is my sister Tammy. I've been married 30 years. 30 have, years? Wonderful yes. girlfriend. That's great. I have two boys and six granddaughters. Two boys and six granddaughters. Yep. God has blessed yes. you richly. Yep. That's wonderful. And the youngest one, she is nine months old. Nine months old. That's yep. wonderful. And who's older, you or Tammy? I am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just thought we'd clarify that. But not by much. Not by much. No. Four years. Four years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Tammy, tell us about you. I'm Tammy Calloway. Um, I'm a licensed massage therapist. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. We have a story about that to tell you. Um, I have two daughters. I have Casey, which is married to Nick Monroe. Okay. Casey. And they just had a little girl. Her name is Hallie. Hallie. And she's we prayed for her today. She's three months old. Then I have a daughter that her name is Leslie Calloway, and she lives in Houston. Um, she is amazing. Uh, she's a dancer. She's dancing for a Christian dance company, a dam in Houston. And so. here's another plug for Connect. When we found out that Tammy's daughter was doing that, um, Tammy Cook was at um, Metanoia with me, and and. We said that would make a wonderful Connect program. So we told Tammy to get in contact with her daughter in Houston, and hopefully when she's home over the holidays, we can get her to come up to Dubuque um, to do a Connect program because she is certainly serving God as a young person, and we want to encourage her in that and allow God to use her to be an encouragement yes. to others. Well, ladies, again, we're here today to, to talk about metanoia, and last week we were so very blessed to have Sue and Marty on and, yes. and really give us a lot of the history of metanoia, 44 years, yes. 44 yep. Amazing. years. Amazing that God has been using uh, women to come together on holy ground near Newton, Iowa, and really come up higher in their faith. Tell us individually, Teresa, I'll start with you, tell us how long you've been coming to metanoia and uh, what your current role in serving God in that capacity is. Well, my mother was going to come to Metanoa, and she couldn't, so she gave me the ticket, and that was seven years ago. Oh, good. So Wonderful. Yes, and about four years into it, I was convinced to become the historian mm. because no one liked taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, and you take I very do. good pictures. Thank you. Very good pictures. So I'm the camera lady, and I just... <laughs> And take pictures of God really at work. Mm -hmm. And um, 
women laughing. Yes. And women crying. Mm, and not women, so much crying. Well, but I mean, tears <laughs> yes. of joy. Tears yep. of joy is what I'm saying. And hugging. And, oh, yeah. And, and capturing the spirit that metanoia is yep. all about. And again, you do a beautiful job. Thank beautiful you. Beautiful job. So, and she took the picture that's on the website. Okay, it's, good. It's like a cross in the cloud when we oh, were at church. Oh, neat. So God made it in the sky. It's oh, really, it's a beautiful site. Oh, wonderful, side. wonderful. So. We will tell you that website right now, um, and then we'll talk about that all throughout the show. But um, www.metanoiaretreat.org, M-E-T-A-N-O-I-A, retreat.org. And there will be information about Metanoia there for you, and we'll put that up several times. So, Tammy, how about you? When did you start? Did you come that first year with Teresa? No, no I've okay. been coming for 12 years. For 12 years, okay. Yep. So longer. Um, my church in Liscombe, they okay. have been going for a long time, Bethel Grove, okay. um, and they asked me to go along. Okay, so um, a group of your church ladies. Yes, okay. a huge amount. So we've always been going together. That's wonderful. Um, and it's kind of funny, well, you know, with church, you kind of get a fellowship. Sure. But this way, when you get to Metanoia, you really get to know some people. Yes, And it's right. a great way to get to know the, your friends, but also get to new new friends. Absolutely. Too. And one thing that we talked about last week uh, with Sue and Marty is Metanoia is ecumenical, meaning um, it's all denominations, all Christian denominations come together. And so that's, I think, the beauty of it is you come, um, Tammy, with your church sisters in Christ, but you are meeting um, right. sisters from, from many denominations. Mm -hmm. And um, again, you don't have to be a particular denomination no. to come to Metanoia. I think that's wonderful. Teresa was talking about sharing her gifts, and she's a beautiful uh, photographer and takes those pictures. <laughs> Let me tell you, or I'll have Tammy tell you about sharing her gift at um, Metanoia, and this probably will be something that will just trip your trigger and make you want to sign up for <laughs> next year immediately. Um, Tammy, tell us about that. Well, um, during Metanoia, we have some different things going on, um, and during Saturday, we have what's called a quiet time. Um, you can either go out and look at the gorgeous view that is at the Christian camp um, or you can go and get your fingernails done sometimes yes. and I volunteered to massage during this time to kind of get people to relax and you know just have a great time and without some people knowing it um, I actually will pray over them mm -hmm. and so that's the service that God's has always given me um, is to either do a silent prayer over them uh, to help their body heal mm -hmm. and their soul heal. Mm -hmm. And if you've never had a massage, I would highly recommend that. Um, and again, I've had many in my years. Um, and when I was at Metanoia and, and Tammy said she was going to do that, of course, her list filled up very quickly. Uh, <laughs> but she made another spot for Miss Ramona, and I was so very thankful. And I knew that she was praying over me, and it was just a beautiful experience, very calming. Um, very nurturing, very in the moment. And so um, if she chooses to offer that again next year and, and you are there, <laughs> then, then we really believe that you would be very blessed. That's probably um, incentive enough to sign up. Girls, Metanoia is um, split into two different groups, and uh, the dates next year are October 10th through the 14th. And so Met 1, as they call it, is um, Wednesday afternoon, all day Thursday, and then Friday until noon. So that would be October 10th, 11th, and part of October 12th. And then Met 2 is Friday afternoon, all day Saturday, and Sunday until noon. So that would be October 12th, 13th, and part of the 14th. So you have your choice which one you would like to come to. Now, Teresa, I know this year you attended both. As a historian, right. I get to go to both of them. And I really enjoy it because I get to meet the different dynamics right. between the two right. groups. Right, and they are really different dynamics. They are, um, the right people are at the right one, mm -hmm. and it's just beautiful right. to see that God has placed the right women as a speaker, um, doing the same messages for both Met 1 and Met 2, the board told me Ramona Met 2 is going to be a whole different audience. <laughs> and um, you're really going to yes. need to switch that up. And, and I'm good with that. I'm a speaker that I really believe is led by the Holy Spirit. And, and so I listened to that and, and really knew immediately that Met 2 was very different than Met 1. And um, both are wonderful. Both are wonderful. So pray about which one you might come to. And again, look at your your calendar, your schedule, that sometimes determines it. But if you are a woman out there, or if you are a man wanting to bless a woman in your life with a priceless gift, a yes. priceless gift that mm -hmm. will have deep and lasting impact in her life, um, then we would really uh, offer you this invitation to come to Metanoia 2012. Again, the dates are October 10th through the 14th. 
Um, this year, girls, we had um, about 100 women. Is that yes. about typical? Is that about typical size uh, for metanoia every year? Yeah. Okay. It was. It seemed a little low um, this okay. time. Okay. But yeah, that's about the same. Okay. Yeah. And again, the nice thing is, is that you all have been coming for many years. But like I said in last week's show, if you are a newcomer, which myself and the Dubuque ladies were this year, um, you won't be a newcomer for long. No. Um, no. You are just blended into the Metanoia Sisterhood, and again, you just feel like you've been there for years and years right. and years. So, um, Metanoia is all about personal revival and personal experience with God, and so now I'd just like to ask um, Teresa and Tammy to share one or a couple different personal reflections, personal memories that they've had through their years at Metanoia, and, and I really believe, without knowing what they're going to share, that, that their stories are really going to touch your heart. So, Teresa, I'll start with you. Okay. Um, I'm the historian, so I get to take pictures, and we have on Friday and Sunday, we have matins, which is like a service, and you're quiet from midnight the night before until they say, yes, you can talk. And we all go down, and most of the time it's outside, so you get to see the sun rise, and it's beautiful. And not this past year, but the year before, I um, was taking pictures, and I looked up at the sky because these women were looking up and I saw sure. the cross. Oh, Teresa. And it was beautiful. pink. Oh, pink? I've never yes. seen a pink one. No. Oh, my. And oh it my. was huge, and I just took a picture, and I was trying not to interrupt, and right. it was just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I bet. And so is that the picture on the website? Yes. Okay. So yes. you can go on that website, www.metanoia. Um, retreat.org and see that picture and you can be in that moment uh, two years ago when, when Teresa captured that. Girls, let's tell them a little bit about, about matins. Um, that might be a very unfamiliar term to most of our viewers and so again um, that's that morning service of the last day. So for Met 1 it is Friday morning mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. for Met 2 it's Sunday morning. Right. And um, the instructions are that you can't talk um, <laughs> when lights go out the night before until end of matins that next morning and I can tell you um, for a big mouth like me that's really hard <laughs> but um, it really is but it really is beautiful I yes. mean it's a beautiful when you take that call and when you heed that call and when you um, again force yourself to be quiet um, you so hear God's gentle voice and sometimes his strong voice speaking to your heart. And again, I know I had one experience where um, you really don't need words to communicate. You really don't need words to communicate that you can just communicate with the love of the Lord without saying anything. Right. right. And that's just wonderful. That's just mm -hmm. wonderful. So we go down um, to this outdoor sanctuary. Would that be a fair? Yeah. Uh, an outdoor sanctuary, I'll call it. And... Um, we have a worship service there, and I think, I don't know, I, I have no, you know, statistics on this, but that has to be one of the favorite parts yes. of Metanoia yes, for yes, many yes. women yeah. is that, that Matins time, and it just feels like the world is silent, and I think in our society today that's um, a really priceless treasure because we live in such a fast, busy, loud world, right. and when we can get quiet, it's just a beautiful, beautiful time. Yes. Well, when you can get 58 or 48 women quiet at the same time, you that's... Bet. Our husbands would probably never believe it. No. They? no. they probably would never believe it, but by God's grace, we can mm -hmm. do it, and we choose to do it. So thank you for that reflection. Tammy, what about you? Well, um, I think last week, or when Sue was talking, there's a lot of brokenness. Yeah. Um, I really needed one year to go down. I was very broken. Um, in your own life? In my own life. I go to Metanoia because I call it as filling up my love cup mm -hmm. because everybody's calling on you to do things. Everybody's telling you to do things. My cup was low. Yeah. It was very low. Or maybe empty. Um, just about, yeah. Mm -hmm. So during, you have some cabin time um, between. Yeah. You would have cabin time. I was very scared um, to share my brokenness with anybody else but when you share your brokenness with people um, she had talked about your mess make it into a message um, it was amazing when we got to our cabin because um, <laughs> I was telling about how broken I was and how tempted I was and that's when that that um, Bible verse came up very much I had special women come around me and they set hands on me Amen and prayed for me, Amen. my brokenness just kind of went Amen. out of me and I went, wow, 
Yeah. If women can get around, and they say when more than one people yeah. get together and Amen. pray. So if you guys are broken, this is a lot of times. Don't come think that you're going to just be, you're okay with yourself. It almost fills your cup up, and then to you just, broken. to be broken. To be and broken. then, you know, you just, having all these women support, they don't judge. Every, you know, it just stays there. Whatever goes to Metanoia stays in Metanoia. Yeah. And it, I came out of there beaming like crazy, right. you know. So. And you had gone in very broken. Bro I was very broken. Right. Um, we had Sue last week who was talking and she helped me and right. a lot of hugs, you know, a lot of people lifting you up. It's amazing. So. And when you were in that environment and in um, fellowship with one another and mm -hmm. on holy sacred ground where you feel free to be broken then uh, the power of the Holy Spirit just starts that healing process of our lives. And, and um, again, if you are a gentleman sitting out there and, and you would like to give a very special woman in your life a gift, we really believe that this is a wonderful investment that you can make in her and um, she will come home changed <laughs> yes. um, with her cup filled up. And um, so many women, I think that, that if we could interview every woman who has uh, a metanoia story, part of their story would be, my cup was filled. Yes. My cup was filled. And it's not like another women's conference um, where there's not interaction and yeah. sharing and you're just part of the audience and that teacher is up there the whole time and you're just <laughs> you know in the audience and you're praising and worshiping and those are all wonderful things but I think the wonderful thing about metanoia is that and I said this in the beginning of the show you changed my life you planted into me and it was such a beautiful give and take sharing experience that um, I think that's what sets metanoia apart yeah, you, you don't have to be perfect. Oh, my. No. You don't have to say, oh, well, I'm not in the right spot with God yet. You just right. come and you just, everybody, they greet you at the door with a hug and you get hugged all the week. time. The yep. whole time. And I think, again, being in that environment, girls, mm -hmm. on that holy ground, and again, the beautiful fall time in October when you can walk either by yourself or with someone else and uh, many times there were opportunities for me to take a walk and I would run into someone else and and Tammy they were broken they were, and they mm -hmm. would stop and tell me and being in that beautiful outdoor environment and and praying right there that was another thing that I think really came out of this year at least is that God really did a an amazing work of um, showing us that we can pray about everything and stop immediately and pray about everything and that's what I mean about Tammy praying for me before we left is that we can stop and join hearts and join hands and lift our prayers and concerns to God and know that he hears those and will meet those. Mm -hmm. So if you had um, one reason uh, to give to a, a person who really is thinking, yeah, maybe I can get two days off from work or maybe I can rearrange my schedule. If, there, if you only had to list one reason to come to Metanoia 2012, Teresa, what would that be? God's love. God's love. I love that. God's love. Um, again, that you will find God's love there. Yep. More of God's love there. And um, we hunger for more of that. We have all of God. We know that. But we can always um, unlock the doors of our hearts to receive more of Him. And He mm -hmm. can just do a new, fresh filling, can He? Yes. A new, fresh filling. So, Tammy? Uh, you can feel the love flowing from God and then from all the women. It just yeah. flows out and connects with other people. Yeah. So it's it's amazing. If you need love, if you need love, go there. Come you can there. feel it. Come there. And if you're not broken, you can come too and have fun and enjoy right. everything <laughs> too. No, that's exactly right. That's but there exactly. is a lot of times that sometimes it's not your time to be broken. It's yeah. your time to be hugging, right. your time to be supportive of other people. Because yeah. yeah. that next year after right. I was broken, you were strong. I was strong, so then I can support others. And right. that's what I feel is support. Right. And there's that verse in the Bible that Paul wrote, um, when I am weak, right. then he is strong. And so again, um, we can be that one in that weak role, or we can be one in that supportive role, mm -hmm. and uh, how God will use our gifts to be that blessing. Yes. And um, that's just wonderful. I think I've got a scripture that I'd like to share with you at the close of this, and I think it's very, very um, relevant to metanoia. Paul wrote in Ephesians 3, starting in verse 13, 14. When I think of the wisdom and scope of God's plan, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, 
the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. And I pray that from his glorious, unlimited resources, he will give you mighty strength through his Holy Spirit. And I pray that Christ will be more and more at home in your hearts, more and more at home in your hearts as you trust in him. May your roots go down deep into the soil of God's marvelous love. There's your love, Teresa. And may you have the power to understand. May you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide and how long and how high and how deep His love really is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is so great that you will never fully understand it. Then you will be filled with the fullness of life and power that comes only from God. Now glory be to God. By his mighty power at work within us, he is able, he is able to accomplish infinitely more than we would ever dare to hope or ask. May he be given glory in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever through endless ages. Amen. 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 I pray that your roots go down deep in the soil of God's marvelous love. And Teresa told you that if she could describe metanoia in one word, two words, it's God's love. Would you prayerfully consider going on that website today, www.metanoiaretreat.org, looking at their information. Again, the dates for next year are October 10th through the 14th. Met 1 will be October 10th through 12th. Met 2, October 12th through the 14th. Prices will be similar to this year, and those were $90 or $120, $130. So again, um, the other thing that I would leave you with is if you are thinking, boy, I'd really like to come, but finances are really, yes. really tight. Um, we talked about this last week, and there is scholarship money available. There is yes. scholarship money available. And Tammy and Teresa, we had many women this year that were at MET because of scholarship yep. money, right. and that's wonderful. No one knows who gets the scholarship, no. and that's wonderful. But if you are in a financial situation where you would love to come, but you don't feel that that's something um, that you can do, then please um, mm -hmm. contact the women, the board members yes. of Metanoia fill out that application for scholarship money. We are really praying that last week's program and this week's program of Connect have truly touched your hearts. Metanoia is all about a change of heart, and I know that we personally are praying that we will see you at Metanoia yes. 2012. Again, it's a time to be with God on holy ground. Thank you so very much for joining me and Teresa and Tammy for today's Connect, and I'll see you next week.